What's up guys? Thanks for joining me. My name is Mike. In the last video, you'll have seen us plasterboard this um, window reveal, dot and dab it. I've put the beads on now, so it's now time to plaster. So there's only this one more to do, so it shouldn't take too long. I'll swing you around, swing you down, and you can see what's happening. So, I've mixed some plaster already. I want to be sort of that consistency. Slightly runny. I always like to start from the bottom and work our way up. So. You get yourself a decent amount on the trial on the hawk. Scrape onto the trowel like so. No need to go right to the floor down here because obviously we're going to have some skirt, skirting board in there. Again, it's not about getting it perfectly flat at this stage. That'll come, that'll come later. When you come to join it to another wall, I've got scrim tape down the corner already. You just want to turn your trowel all the other way around, push it in, and drop it off. So I've got all that more to do, all the way under this window, up the sides, and on the top. So I'll get this first coat on, then I'll come back. So that's first coat on. Got a nice covering everywhere. It can be a bit tricky around the sockets sometimes, but <clears throat> just have to persevere. Wash my bucket out, got some clean water. Most importantly, made a nice coffee. So you can see the trims here. Just that little bit there. Just helps give you a nice straight corner so we just need, need to wait for this to set a little still a bit, a bit wet then we'll go and trowel it 
So, the trowel, I've got a few different trowels. The trowel I use to put it on is this one here. It's quite stiff. Doesn't bend much. But then, I've got all these other trowels here. I've got a nice corner trowel here to get in the top corners of the reveal. Then I like to use this Ultraflex Ox Trowel for troweling off. You can see it's a bit more bendy. Just gives you a bit of a Just gives you a bit of a better result. But we'll just wait a little bit for that to go off. Give me a chance to have my coffee. Then we'll be back. So, now that's had a bit of time to set, it's still wet. It's time to just trowel it off. This day is just about getting it reasonably straight. It's getting all the lumps and bumps out. Filling any low spots. Again, use my flexi trowel. So there's quite a bit of movement on it. You want to apply quite a bit of pressure on this so it does get it nice and straight. It has been quite warm today so it is setting quite quick. Again, run the sockets, a little bit tricky, but 
Beast of the Goons. If you do any notice any little holes, try and spread them in. If you can't, just get a bit of the excess plaster off the trowel. Just make like a little blob on the end. Just push it in. the way in it move your coffee when you're plastering another top tip it is pretty hard work plastering he was fun of doing it, but I always end up getting out of it because I don't do it every day. Right, let's be careful you don't get any bits in it like I, like I just have. And just try and get all of those spots. I'm holding the trowel pretty flat to the wall. So, just, just 
about a quarter of an inch gap between the trowel and the wall. But yeah, so we've got that reasonably flat now. So again, we just need this to go off a little bit more. And we can spray it with a bit of water, and flatten it out a bit better. So these corners here, obviously a bit of a mess. You get your corner trowel. You see it sort of forces it in quite nicely. Again, do the same on this one. See, it's a bit of a mess. You don't need to get it straight on this cart. We are putting another cart on. So any any imperfections you do have will come out. So we'll leave it like that for now. And we'll come back and wet it. Now this is the time to go off. You need to get your spray bottle. And you need to just wet the wall. Literally on over. Careful of the sockets. Just blow yourself up. And then this will be the final stage before you put the second coat on. And again, pushing quite hard on this one.
to look, look good now. The flatter you get it now, the nicer the um, second coat will be. Yep. Things leaking. Yeah, that's about ready for the second coat now. You can see it's pretty flat now, nice and straight. Got most of the lumps and bumps out. Still a few, but the second coat will get most of that. nice so yeah probably mix up another batch and then go for the second cut so time for the second cut now I've got my hawk back just want to give him a, a little wet just so the plaster slides off better. Back to the hard trowel again. The second lot of plaster is a bit, it's a bit runnier. Just my preference, I like it a little bit runnier. And just simply, where you started with your Apply the second cut. Just in the exact same method you did last time.
it easy. I'll get this put on and I'll bring you back. So that's second coat all done. I've left it a little bit so it's probably ready to start flattening off now. And these, cor these corners are nice and straight. Got myself a nice cup of tea this time. It's basically the same process as last time. With my flat, with my Ox Ultrafex. See all them lumps and bumps there. That pretty much just that makes them vanish. I have to do one handed, but I'll flatten it off and come back and show you. So that's all been flattened off now. The second cut, just ready for it to start going off a little bit more. Corners. <clears throat> then it'll be the same case again. Wet it, trowel it, then the final, very last bit will be to dry trowel it. I like to use this one. This is my finishing trowel. It's a bit longer than the other one. And then again, this one's super flex flexible. Just makes a real nice, real nice finish. Push quite hard with this one. Obviously for the final cut, this isn't, it's not really ready yet. I'll probably end up making a mess if I carry on. So yeah. I'll probably do all that and come back when it's about done. Then you can see it's getting a bit dark now. Uh, this is the only light I've got. Obviously. Not lighting at the moment, so hopefully it doesn't get too dark before the end of the video. You can see around the socket there, I managed to get in there, so that's good. Right, so that's it. Done.
nice and smooth. My corners are nice. It's done back so you can see. So, this is the first room completely plastered now. So that was the last wall. That one's done. Ceiling's done. That one's done. The one behind me is done. So, I'm not a plasterer by any means. I just like to have a go. Well, if you like that video, found it useful, please hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And then I think I've ordered my kitchen, so the kitchen could be the next video. Not sure, I haven't decided yet. So, just have to tune in and join me again. Thank you.